Hello, hello everyone. This video will be a little all over the place, and that's just, you know, how my videos are. You guys all know that. Um, <clears throat> nothing, I don't know. We're going to probably end up talking about a lot of things, and as things come to my head, as, they're, as my mind is always spinning and racing up there, um, I'm just going to blurt them out to any ideas that I think of. Got a little coffee. It's pajama day. Got off work late, late last night. It's looking like I'm probably going to have a little time off today. So I've got my daughter. There will probably be interruptions. And uh, it's just the way it is, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Little waffle vape with the Vivi Nova dual coil. Mm. So great in the morning. Anyway, I've been on a Vivi Nova kick lately. And, um, I, you know, I don't know. Trying to find the most hassle-free vape. And here comes my daughter. <laughs> there she is. It's like Dad, she, yo. It feels like the rain on 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 Dave's head. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that is funny. Anyway, um, so I've been. It's like okay. I love the Kanger Pro Tanks. Everybody knows that. And even with the stock head. Um, and, and speaking of that, since we're right on that subject, let's start with that. I thought, there it is, there's a brand new uh, head for the Kanger Pro Tank. Here we go again. Dad, the, the TV is only being freezed. Oh, it's probably because the CD is scratched. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's a hot. Okay, well, it's playing right now. Why don't you try again? Okay. <clears throat> so, the... Uh, Kanger, you know, this head for the Kanger Pro Tank, it also fits the Kanger T3. Now, everybody knows, I've said it in a lot of videos, that I wasn't impressed with the Kanger T3. However, they've been pretty decent lately. I just picked this one up, and uh, it's got a clear drip tip, which I dig. Um, it's kind of neat. I'd never done the clear drip tip thing before, and I, I don't know. It's it's neat. You know, you, you watch the vapor go through it as, as you're vaping on it. And I happened to pick up some really good juice uh, called banana nut bread, and it's spot on. It's like, it tastes just like banana bread out of the oven, and it's fantastic. And this is just a stockhead Kinger T3. Um, and we are using the new, my new uh, uh, Vamo V5. No, let's not talk about that today, though. We'll talk about that in a different video. It gives me an excuse to make another one. So here, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Here, I'll get close. Check it out. And you can see that, that vapor kind of coming up. I don't know. It's just something neat. Whatever. Some people are like, yeah, whatever, man. I'm not impressed. Well, people like me, every little thing, you know, it's like something shiny. It's like, oh, wow. Neat. It's pretty. What are you doing, baby girl? Nothing. Nothing? Why don't you go watch your movie so I can make this video? Will you please? Please? Pretty please? So, okay, well, the Kanger T3 uses the same exact head as a Pro Tank. Uh, all those Kanger products that have that bottom coil thing that looks like that, they're all the same head, and I think that's great, you know. It's cool to have the same head in different things. So no wonder the, 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 the T3 is, is a decent performing thing. However, it is longer, you know, it's a longer tank versus the, uh, I think anyway, maybe I'm wrong. Let's check it out. Here's the Pro Tank. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely... Definitely a little longer, as you can see. Mm. I'm not even looking at the camera as I'm trying to do this. And, uh, yeah, so that's, you know, so the, the thing to consider there, especially if you've got a shorty uh, drip tip on that, something more like... Speaking of drip tips, I have got to get new drip tips. I'm like, I've got all these plastic, black plastic ones now, you know, that come with the Vivi Novas, the, uh, you know, like this setup. And uh, I don't like them because I'm just not a fan of plastic drip tips, uh, the actual just plastic, plastic. Now, there's like that Delphrin or Delphrin or whatever. Those are good. But the plastic drip tips, to me, have a tendency to make things taste kind of plasticky sometimes. But anyway, so yeah, we, so if you've got a uh, shorter drip tip, 
you know, then it's, it's a lot more. So that vapor is going to travel further in the, uh, pro, uh, or in the canger. The, so it's going to be even tougher to get that warmer vape, which sometimes you can get out of a stock head in a pro tank. And, uh, and that might be one thing that makes the pro tank really good, you know. Uh, and, and of course, the pro tank, obviously, it's made out of uh, steel and, or metal or whatever you want to call it, same thing, and uh, glass, where this is, uh, this is the uh, Pyrex, so the cinnamon juices aren't going to, you know, eventually it's going to break that Pyrex down and crack it and stuff like that. And uh, let me just take a vape on this pro tank just because I'm just curious what kind of juice it is, mainly. Oh, it's so flooded. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's flooded. What am I going to do? I'm going to hold it upside, upside down. And the reason I'm holding it upside down is you want the juice to, to come down here. And that way it's away from the coils. Then you vape. And you might get some juice in your mouth. Be prepared. And that way it's able to burn off the excess juice without more juice trying to clog it. Right? Makes sense. And there's some drips. Good thing I got a plenty of paper towels today because I'm going to show you some other things. This is going to be a longer video. So, and a lot of you seem to like that, so that's good. What kind of juice is that? This one's been laying around for a little bit, and you'll find that if you've got a tank that's been laying around for a while, It'll get kind of, I don't know, what's the word? It's almost kind of like, it just doesn't quite taste up to par. It'll take a little bit for that flavor to come back. That's my experience with every tank that sits around for a long time. I'm just going to keep vaping it. In fact, I'm going to turn the power up because I've, yeah, there we go. And I hear no bubbly, no gurgly anymore as I'm vaping that. So that means it's safe to put it back. And now the flooded is gone. You know, you get a little in your mouth. It's just going to happen. That's the easiest way I've found to just quickly, you know, get rid of the flooding. <coughs> um, of course, the other way you can do that uh, is I have a tendency. Now, I always check my post when I flooded anything. And there is condensation down there in that post. Um, I'm not going to focus it for you because... You're just gonna have to take my word for it. I wouldn't lie to you. Come on, come on. I would never, never do that. I'm not like a politician or something, you know. So I'm still trying to figure out what juice this is. It might be espresso. <laughs> but this seems like it's too much paper to be espresso. It might actually be buttered rum. And that's a cool little trick. I mean, if you want something a, a, a warmer vape, when you consider that the stock drip tip that comes with these things is, well, here I'll just hold up another pro tank that'll make it better, better comparison. And you can see, in fact, I, yeah, it's a little taller, so there's a little more travel there for that vapor to hit your mouth, whereas this one, it's going to hit your mouth sooner. Therefore, you can probably get a, you're going to get a warmer vapor vape easier out of a short drip tip. So if that's something you're into, try a, a shorty, you know, give that it's just a, you know, easy, quick way. See, I think this coil has been, this tank's just been laying around for too long without being vaped. And so it's hard to, it's hard for me to tell what flavor it is. Let me really crank it up. What kind of battery life do I have in this? 3.8, that'll work. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm thinking that's espresso, but it's a 70-30 on that espresso, so I'm surprised that it's putting out that kind of vapor. But then again, the Pro Tank, much like the Kanger T3, it's amazing the vapor that they can put out with a high PG juice. I want to say that's espresso. I don't know. You know, and of course, I've got it fitted with a micro coil, and that's why I've kind of gotten myself on a Vivi Nova kick lately, because I find I'm constantly having to replace the cotton or you know build another micro coil, and I'm just looking for simplicity these days. You know, and that's the cool thing about vaping. Like I always say, 
it's always changing for the individual. And uh, um, by the way, I was going to show you a different way to uh, clear a uh, flooded one. You can hold it upside down. I took the drip tip out. This is the top of it. You know, there's your 510 connection on the bottom. Hold it upside down and blow through the bottom. It's the same principle though, because you're holding all you're holding it upside down, so the juice is running away from the coils. Whatever tank you've got, you want the juice going the opposite of the coils and give it a blow. And uh, you know that's another way you can do it. Of course, you can take it apart and clean it and all that, but what a pain, right? And then when you're on the go, that's a little difficult to do. You ain't got running water and, and, and things like that. So that's the other way you 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 know those are the ways that you clear out a flooded one of these. So the Kanger T3, I'm impressed with this one. Um, you know, it's it's impossible to get a warm vape, and that's fine. It tastes great. It, the flavor is, is there. Maybe a touch muted compared to a Vivinova, because like I say, the Vivi, I've uh, said all the time, the Vivinova, it's a top coil. Therefore, it's like straight from there, boom, straight to the tongue. It is a more intense flavor, because I've got this same flavor just as an experiment, uh, experiment right here in this Vivinova. And uh, the other thing I want to say about the Kanger T3, if you want pro tank performance, but you don't want to spend 20 to 30 bucks, depending on where you get that, get yourself a Kanger T3. You can get these for like six, seven dollars. And uh, so they're cheap, but they're great, you know. Uh, the drip tip, you're not going to be able to change it out on that. But that's okay. I mean, you can. You can get different drip tips, but they're a screw thing. Well, never mind. That one don't even come off. So whatever drip tip comes with that, I guess that's the way it is. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think Kanger T3s, the drip tip is just a permanent thing, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, and then in order to refill them, you fill them from the bottom. Take the bottom off. And there, as you can see, plain as day, there's that head that I was talking about, same head that goes into the uh, uh, pro tank. And uh, you would just unscrew this. There it is. And you just toss that away, take your new head, put it in. And find the shaft. This little insert goes inside of a shaft in there, just like the pro tank. Screw it back on, and you're good to go. So that's, that's the Kanger T3. And for six, seven bucks versus twenty, sure it doesn't look as pretty. Sure it's Pyrex, but if you ain't got a cinnamon juice and you want, you know, a, a good performing tank, there you go. I have that sucker cranked. The Pro Tank, I don't go that, high, or uh, uh, Kanger T3, I don't go that that high with a stock head. And it's just an ever slightly lukewarm vape at ten watts getting a touch flooded so I'm just tipping it as I'm vaping it get that juice away from the coils and that'll take care of that take a couple of hits just to uh, you know clear it out to where it's just getting to where oh, okay you're, you feel it going dry then you're good to tip it back again and uh, that's going to take care of your flooding because anytime you're taking a hit on anything when the uh, and that's a little too high because I, I it's starting to burn so I'm going to crank it down. You know, anytime that you've got any tank where the, especially a bottom coil, even a Vivinova, if you're doing it like this, you know, while you're vaping, if it's if the juice is straight onto the coils, <coughs> and you're puffing on it, taking a taking a little hit, you're actually drawing the vacuum that you create as you're doing that is sucking juice into the coil. That's why we do this to you know. Get it from flooding. But now that I I, I had a, a vape there, now that I tasted that that oop was getting dry and starting just to kind of give me the warning of how I'm about to burn, I'm gonna go like this. Give it a couple of uh, primers. Another trick you can do. See, this is this video is gonna be a lot about my daughter and tricks and just little. Just little tricks you can use. Now, here, I'm going to go ahead and try and focus this. I'll focus this for you really quick because I'd like to, I'm hoping I can get you to see this. Uh, that's pretty good, right? And you can see that, uh, maybe it would be better if I had that more full, but you just watch the liquid. Here's a trick you can do, and you can do this with any tank. As, you know, say you want it to just wick a little bit more. You want more juice into that coil because it's going dry, okay? Take the bottom or, you know, the screw portion of it that you would 
and just start to crack it. And just watch. Keep your eye on the liquid as I'm doing this. Honey, can you uh, just let me record this video, please? Thank you. Watch the liquid as I'm doing this. I'm going to just crack it. I'm going to just keep your eye for bubbles. That's what we're looking for. I think I just saw one in the back. There's another one. See that guy pop up? And now I just put it back, you know. And if you find that it's not wicking enough, you can just loosen it just a touch and leave it. But if you, that's just a little trick you can do. And uh, so that's nice. Okay, yeah, now. Well, it's because I was sitting here first. You know. And so now I know that we got liquid in there. And you can take a stiffer draw just to help. And I got a little, you know, little burst of something sizzle up into my mouth there, so I know it's good and saturated. You know, and you can just kind of adjust it and just go by taste. Just a nice. That's a that that can be a pretty handy trick to know. So that's that. Now, a trick with these Kanger T3s especially. Any plastic tank, it's a good idea that when you first get it, before you go filling it stuff, wash it out with hot water and a little dish soap or any soap, even if just hand soap. And, uh, you know, to just to get, because sometimes they'll have a plasticky taste. Not always, but sometimes if you find that you, if you have that, take it apart with a Kanger T3. All you can do is take that bottom out. So then you're just going to be running water and stuff. And then you have to just like blow on it. You can try to wedge paper towels up in there, but just blow it out as good as you can. It's no big deal. If there's some droplets up there, you're not going to hardly taste any, if any. I mean, you're probably not going to taste any difference. And uh, so that's that. Now, the other trick with the Kanger T3, especially a pro tank, eh, it's hit or miss with a pro tank. Is that right? Yeah. So. With a pro tank, sometimes you can do this, and it all depends on the juice. I've said this before when it comes to this trick. Um, here we are, a uh, brand new head. I'm going to pop the where this gasket is, you know, the little rubber part. And yeah, this part, you can split this in two. Um, it would be easier, however, to show you on a tank, and uh, this is how I recommend doing it. This makes it really simple, and I'll just show you here because this one I built a micro coil on so it's not even you know the really the stock head but here this is a brand new stock head here's a trick with the Kanger T3 if you get one and I highly recommend this and it depends on the, the ratio of your juice PG versus uh, VG the VG obviously is going to be thicker uh, so if I've got a 50-50 blend which is my favorite blend let's take some coffee oh if you insist yeah, because my daddy wants this. Hello, dogs. Okay, careful out there, baby. Oh, it is cold here today. I don't know what the weather's like at your guys' place. It's been nice the last few days. but uh, Anyway, so I just screwed the new head onto the base. And, you know, you would do the same thing with the uh, Kanger T3. You just take the bottom off and screw the head into the bottom. This gives you a little something to grip, something to hold on to here as you, and then just kind of give it a, you know, kind of rocking it back and forth as I'm trying to pull it off of there. And I know it will work. I've done this. Okay. And if you find that you're having a hard time with that, like greasy fingers, grab yourself a paper towel so you got a little more grip. And I'm just kind of rocking it back and forth, and it came right apart. And there you go. There's the top part of it. I'm going to just put that aside, and you're left with the bottom. Now, here's the trick. And, and a lot of you, this is probably just repeated information. Um, but, oh well, some of you, this might be new to you, and this is who this is for. Because this is a great way, I always say, my, vape, my vaping videos cater towards the vapors on a budget. And that's why I want to talk about this Kanger T3. And uh, in the past, they've had a tendency to taste plasticky and maybe a touch of burning sensation. And uh, here's, you know, you run water through it and soap and, you know, do and rinse it out good. That'll take care of that plasticky taste. And, uh... Okay, so let's focus this really quick. Um, maybe the, yeah. See that? 
Can you see the top? Look, look down. Yeah, you don't see any wire there, do you? All you see is a uh, wick. Well, it's because there's flavor wicks sitting up there. So, what you can do is just simply, I'm trying to do this on camera so you can see this. You can pull those out. There's two of them. Usually there's always two. There's one that I just pulled out. I'm going to just, now don't lose these. You set these in a place that you can find them again. You don't throw them away. There's one more in there because we're still not seeing any wire. And I see it right there. I'm going to pull it out. Oh, maybe. Yep, I got it on my finger. What do we got now? Is there another one in there? Maybe this one's got three. Let me look. It does. This one happens to have... Shut up, dogs. This one happens to have a third one. Um, let me see if I can get a grip of that. Of course, at this point... There we go. See it coming out? I'm, I've got it with my finger. And it's out. Is there more? By God, there is more, Beverly. Here's another one. So this one's completely different than others. I've never seen one with this much weight, so I'm going to pull that out. Now look. You can see the coil. Now, you're going to set all of that aside. Let me go ahead and get my face back in there. <coughs> okay. So you've got all of that out. At this point, you would put it back together, pop the, you know, the top part back on, and uh, give that a shot. Now, if you are not a chain vapor, uh, you know, where you don't, you know, you're not constantly vaping on it a lot, um, at that point, you, you, you may, you, well, you may not have to do any of this. But if you're someone, especially if you have a thicker juice, especially 100% VG, you're pretty much always going to want to do this because it's going to make the flavor better. And uh, so, yeah. Now, um, the other thing is, sometimes, to, let's say you got a, uh, I don't know, some 50-50 juices I've found. I can't get away with this. Now, this Kinger Protein 3 with the 50-50 banana nut bread, no problem. I took every flavor wick out of it. It hardly ever floods. And, uh, you know, when it does, it's easy to clear out. And then I, you know, as long as I'm vaping on it, it never floods again. Just keeps on going, and the flavor is great. You know, not a warm vape like the uh, Vivinova, where you can flat out get it hot. You know, but it's still a great vape. And if you don't care about that, this is a great, affordable way to go. That the uh, you know that's a bottom coil, and the handiness of a bottom coil is it's always the juice is always sitting on your coil. So just try it, and if you if you find it's constantly flooding, well, fine, take the head out, rinse it out and take these little cotton pieces and stick one in. Put it back together, try it again. If it's still flooding and it's not working right, uh, stick another one in. You know, you might have to leave them both in. Most of them, I find they have two, but that one seemed to have like three or four, so whatever. And uh, so that is that trick, okay? If you're interested in something like that, you want to give it a try, those things are going to make this perform very nicely. And, uh, but like I say, most 50-50 juices, I never have a problem. And if it's 100% VG, obviously, no problem there. Okay. Moving along. Let's talk about Vivianovas. Like I said, uh, I've been a fan of microcoiling out uh, and using cotton balls on the... Uh, on all of my protanks, but like I said before, it's getting to be kind of where I'm like, okay, I'm getting lazy. I'm kind of tired of constantly having to build more coils every so often or, you know, replace the cotton. And I'm on a moving train and I'm trying to stick a piece of cotton through there, you know, and oh God, okay, we're good, you know, whistle, yeah. Well, it's like, okay, I want to make my life, my vaping life a little bit easier because I'm tending to start to want to just do the fancy stuff only when I'm vaping at home. And when I'm on the go, simplicity, you know, just something I can screw on and have great taste, though, too, because I don't want to sacrifice. You know, like some people, they sit, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll build stuff. They'll have RBAs at home, and but when they're at work, my chair just won't. What the heck? Did you just notice I'm lower? <laughs> My, my chair totally just like decided, oh, I'm 
tired of this and I'm going to go down. Well, okay, I'll just move the camera down. Whatever. I'm back. So, that was strange. And I'm not even on drugs. <laughs> anyway. So, the, but yeah, so some people, like, they'll do their RBAs at home that taste great and everything. And then they're, but then they'll bring, like, a, almost a crappy tank where I'm like, really? That's what you take to work? And you're used to all that flavor of a nice rebuildable uh, atomizer that you vape at home? And then you go to that tank that gives you nothing? Yeah, I mean, anyway, I mean, there's only one that I can think of for sure, I guess. But, uh. But for me, it's like, I still want my good flavor. I want a good, high-quality vape. And the Vivi Nova gives that to me, especially with the dual coils. I have been experimenting lately with the single coils versus dual coils and just kind of going back and forth. And there's just no question. The dual coil is a great, it's way better on the Vivi Nova. And uh, I've got a single coil in this one filled with Boba's Bounty. And it still tastes pretty good. But I, you know, I uh, with the Vivi Nova heads, you know, those single coils, I had to wash it out good and this is what I want to talk about this is the whole reason that I wanted to do to do this video all of a sudden I get two two or three I got three Vivi Novas uh, and I got them from Vapor, Vapor Alley which I usually do uh, if you don't get them through there get them through uh, Got Vapes and they those are good as well well it's like everything is constantly changing in the vape world okay not and I'm not just talking about new products coming out. I'm talking about the same products. You'll get five of them of a Vivinova, better example. That's just nothing wrong. Put a dual coil uh, head on it and just vape. Well, then I get these three, and all for the first time ever, everything is tasting like plastic. Everything. And yeah, I taste the juice, sure, but it's like everything's got a plasticky sort of thing going on to it. I'm like, what in the hell is going on? I've got my dual coil on this one. Why am I experiencing this? And, uh, well, whatever. It wasn't terrible. I got through the trip, and I got up to Gillette, and I got to my room. Uh, well, what can I do here? Let me try washing it out. And that's why I talked about washing out the Kanger T3. I washed it out with hot water and soap, rinsed everything off good, everything, even the heads. And, uh, and then I got paper towels. I just rinsed all these out. These are brand new. This, these two are going to be brand new Vivian Oaks. I don't know if I'll do them both, but I'll do one of them for you. You know, and you just run some paper towel through it. You know, dry it out. Dry it out good. Okay, good. Now, where's um, my head? Where's the head? Where's the head? Um, here's this one. Now, I like I said, I washed this head out too. So I will just... I'll just kind of go around to each, all four of those wicks that you see there, and just kind of squeeze, you know, with a paper towel, just get them as dry as I can. You know, either way, it's it's going to, you know, as we vape it, it's going to dry it out. But I'll just get them as dry as I can, switch to the drier parts of the paper towel as I'm going. And uh, and that's that. Yeah, now, an apple. Yeah, it's probably no good. I would throw that away, honey. Come here. Let me uh, wipe your mug for you. Come here. You got a little snot running. <laughs> it's cold out there. Better? Yeah. All right. Thank you. <coughs> so, here's the base that I washed. And these bases, I have a tendency to break these things, or if my daughter gets a hold of them. And uh, right here, the uh, connection, this 510 connection, will just shear off. And I've, you know, I've always been able to get it, you know, out of my device, you know, what's left and stuff. I've never had any issues with that, so I'm going to dry this. But you can get new bases at Vapor Alley. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that he's the only one uh, that carries these. You know, it's like they're only like a dollar fifty or two bucks, something like that. So if you ever break one, you think, oh great, I got to get a whole new tank. No, you don't. Go to Vapor Alley, you can get bases for them. And I always have like four or five of these on hand because if I break, because you know, I'm always dropping my mod. It's just. I don't know, clumsy, and uh, so there's that. All right, so here's what I do. It <clears throat> here's what I did at this point. Now I don't know if you've got to do all of this, but this is just what I did, and it worked. Um, we're gonna take that uh, O-ring off, or O-ring, uh, whatever, the grommet. It's like that. Now we're left with uh, you know just uh, the coils down in there, your dual coils. I'm gonna put this on on the base. I'm going to leave the, uh, we're going to leave the uh, tank part of it off. I'm going to put it onto the Vivinova. Or the Vivinova. I'm going to put it onto the Vamo. 
we're making connection. I'm going to look at my wattage. I'm at 8. That'll work. Now, what I'll do here, um, I will just simply, uh, let's, uh, let me focus this in for you a little bit. There we go. Just as I'm blowing on the top, uh, I'm going to hit the button for about three second intervals with each one. So here we go. Is it vaping? Yep, I smell it. Those are called dry burns. And I was just as I'm blowing, I'm just hitting the button. Off. Blowing. Hitting the button. Off. Blowing. Hitting the button. Off. Simple as that. And that's how I, uh, I do that. And at this point, put your rubber grommet back on. Are they cold? Well, stay in and let them warm up a little bit, honey. Okay, got the uh, grommet on. And what I tend to do with the grommet, I don't shove it all the way, all the way down on there. I just kind of get it started, and that's good enough for me because the cap that we put on the top, after we put our tank back on, we're gonna put our freshly washed tank. That should take care of any uh, plasticky stuff because it did on the last one. There are two of them. Um, I'm going to put a little Truly Tobacco in this one from Copper Creek House Blend. It's gotten to be one of my favorite flavors, as you can tell. I got a 120 ml bottle here, and it's, uh, well, half gone. Okay, so I'm going to give it a shake. Always shake your juices up. Um, some bottles will flat out say on it, shake well. But the ingredients will have a tendency to separate, and in my mind, the PG versus VG, they will actually tend to separate a little bit. Because I'll find that if I'm, ne if I'm not constantly shaking my juices up, by the time I get to the bottom of the bottle, the it seems like it's thinner and not as much vapor, which tells me we're ending up with PG on the bottom, which would make sense, because PG would definitely be heavier than VG. So just always, be before you do anything with your juice, before you fill any tank, shake it up good. All right, so let's fill it. Uh, I almost got that a little too full. Now, okay, baby. <coughs> now, on a Vibby Nova that you're just filling for the first time with a brand new coil, it is okay if you get it a little over full because right away that coil and those wicks are going to suck some up and out of it, and you're going to see that level drop. Now, the uh, grommet, like I said, I didn't put it all the way on. It's actually sticking out the top ever so slightly, as you can see there. No problem, because like I said, we're going to put our cap on there. Here we go. I need more drip tips, because I've been giving my, my nice chrome drip tips away to people that, that are just starting vaping, getting started, and they'll get a tank, and they've got a plastic tip, and I'm like, here, man, uh, here's a metal one. You know, try, you know, make it look a little better or whatever, and, and I just like metal drip tips, you know. So anyway, I'm going to screw that down. Either way, now I'm out of them and i got to get more. And uh, I'm not going to go all the way tight with this. I'm just going to kind of like, okay, it's starting to seep because I want that juice to flow. I'm going to put it upside down and get that juice flowing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change out that drip tip. Yay! A Pro Tank drip tip. That's the great thing about the Pro Tank 2 is they come with a nice metal removable drip tip. Now, something you can do to speed up this process, hold it upside down just like I uh, did with the King or, um, what did I do it with? Was it the Pro Tank or the King or, uh, or the King or T3? I think it was the T3, right? Did the dry, dry hits. Creates that vacuum and it's going to bubble and suck it into the wicks. Same thing with the, now of course I've got a, a dark thing here, so this is going to be tough for you to see, but let me see if I can make this work for you. Oh, focus. And, uh, okay, so keep an eye out, see if you see any bubbles. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to crack the bottom. Uh, see that bubble go up as I'm doing that? I'll do a couple more. There's a couple more. So we know it's getting juice. So now I'm going to just kind of put it back. You know, and you don't have to always have this tight. Just depending on how you want it to, you know, to wick or whatever. It will look a little bit better um, if it's not completely tight. <clears throat> Just a handy trick, okay? So let's see what we got here. What am I at? 8.5 watts. Mm. That definitely is better than the Pro Take, uh, in my opinion, on this particular flavor. It's the first time I put this flavor in here. I've just always put it in the Pro Tank with a microcoil, which is excellent. 
especially when the coil is new. But these, I guess, here's here's what I find with the Pro Tank. If I've got a brand new micro coil, with new cotton, it just doesn't get any better. I mean, the Vivinova might be right there with it, maybe just a. I mean, if it even if it even is below it, it's just a hair. But after a while, it doesn't take long, and and, and it's like, okay, I need more cotton, more coil. Whereas the Vivinova just seems to keep on giving and just giving and giving, and it just keeps tasting great. And you're never going to have near as many flooding issues. I've, I've got a friend who got himself a Kanger Evot, and it was just constantly, I don't know why, but he ended up having to put a piece of cotton, you know, just like I showed you that head where we took apart. He had to end up putting a, a just a tiny piece of cotton over the top, plus the flavor wicks, because it was constantly flooding on him. I don't know. Not all juices are created equal, though, because I've got, you know, 70, 30 juices, 70 on the PG. My daughter likes to knock on the door, so I'll answer it. Yes? I answered. Did you? Yeah. Cool. Get this out of the way and close this door. And uh, so I'll have like one bottle of 70-30 juice that doesn't put out, you know, near as much vapor as like a lot, you know, as a 50-50 or 100% VG, obviously, because VG will give you more vapor, PG will give you more of a throat hit, and sometimes add to flavor. But we've kind of, in my opinion, we're starting to, I've seen that theory disproved too many times with 100% VG, tastes fantastic. So I don't know what the answers are to that, but for all the new people that might just be first watching this video, stumbling upon it, VG, some people call it vapor galore. It's not what it stands for. It stands for uh, vegetable glycol. PG is propylene glycerin. And they say, they've always said, PG will give you more of a throat hit, and uh, if, you have, if you have nothing but PG, you ain't going to get hardly any vapor, and that's a fact. VG will give you tons of vapor, but sometimes can lack in flavor, so they balance it out. And the PG also will give you the throat hit. But yet, Boba's Bounty, which is 100% VG, tastes fantastic, and the and and the throat hit is tremendous. So I, you know, take that for what it's worth. I, I almost think we need to stop saying some of those things about it. So that's that for any new vapors that are just tuning in. That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about this. So, but for sure, I'll have a 70/30 PG. Versus VG juice, not Daddy, all that much paper. Okay. Okay. And then I'll get another same ratio juice, and it puts out way more vapor. So that's what I'm saying. Not all juices are created equal. Some juices, even with what seems to be the same ratio, maybe it's just mixed differently. They didn't quite get it right. I don't know, but that's just something interesting to note. Um, but yeah, with a so that guy, you know, he was constantly having flooding with his canger. So he put a piece of cotton on there, and that ended up fixing it. But with a top coil, that's the other benefit, possible benefit of a top coil, is that you're, you know, constantly kind of vaping it like this. And it's a lot harder for it to flood because you're kind of controlling how much juice gets into that coil by just tipping. So that, you know, like I say, I think that's a notable possible advantage of a top coil. Um, on top of all the other obvious ones of the warm vape, maybe more intense flavor. Daddy. And that is just tasting good. And look at all that vapor with that dual coil head. And uh, I had that a little high. The other thing I noticed with the top Daddy, coil. The okay, well. Uh, I want to take monks and cigars. Okay, well, give me just a second, okay? Go find something to do, and I'll be with you in a moment. Um. I don't remember what I was going to say. Um, the other thing about a top coil is I you don't need as much power, I find. I tend to have this on like 7 watts, whereas on a Pro Tank, I have it 10 to 11 watts, <clears throat> much like the Kinger uh, T3. So, therefore, you're getting a lot longer life out of your battery. Like, if I'm constantly chain vaping on a Pro Tank, I'll go through two batteries in a day. You know, the second one, I won't run dead, but... Um, you know, either way, I've got to switch out a that battery. Whereas when I'm vaping on the Vivinovas, I tend to get a. I can make a battery last two whole days sometimes. The 2250 milliamp hour, uh, uh, 18650s. Mm. Daddy, I'm hungry. That's just so good. You know, then I want maybe a little bit more. I'm going to do that old thing trick, and I'm going to wait for the bubbles, and I saw them, and good. Another trick on the Vivinova. Let's say that even with all these tricks, 
you're finding, and I don't care if it's a dual coil or a single coil, um, and even if you're doing a single coil, you're still going to do everything that I just did if you're having that plasticky taste. I think it's just good practice. Do it all right away. Get this sucker wet. Here's a single coil. Um, but let's say you've done all of that, and you're still finding that you're constantly having to do that screw trick to get it wicking properly or do the dry hits without just... Because it's nice to be able to, we're talking about simplicity here, and I want it to be as simple as possible. I don't want to constantly be having to do that. I don't mind doing this trick once in a while. Okay, go put it in and uh, press play. What is the button playing? It's a, uh, looks like a triangle. Like a sideways triangle? Yeah. Um, I was going to maybe draw her a picture, but oh, there is a pen over there. Well, she has trouble onto that. So, you know, sure, I don't mind doing this once in a great while. Like, oh, I need a little more juice. Nice, quick, easy, boom, got juice, done. Um, but let's say that I'm constantly having to do that, and I experienced that not long ago with a dual coil head, which was the first time ever. And that goes back to things are always changing. You'll get a box of heads after box after box of heads, you know, that everything's fine. And then all of a sudden you get one that's like, well, what happened here? Things are a little different. Well, you just got to make the adjustments because I just had an email from another guy, and that's the other thing we're going to do at the end of this video is answer some emails, who said he had problems with a, uh, with the Kanger uh, Pro Tank heads, T3 heads, although that same bottom coil Kanger head. All of a sudden, he, they're, they're seem to, they seem to be uh, going dry on him lately, not wicking properly, getting burning taste. Oh, my God, I've been there, and I just seem to be getting it with these new dual coil heads in the video. Well, here's what you can always do, and I've showed this trick before, and you just do the same thing if it's dual coil or single coil. You've got your wicks here, and uh, let me go ahead and focus it for you for fun, because, hey, it's easy to focus. There we go. What you'll do, find just one, okay? I don't care which one, doesn't matter. And so I've got one right there. I'm pulling on it. Pull it straight out. See it come out? Obviously, what you've just done is you've loosened that coil that might have just been wrapped too tightly around all of the, the other ones. You do the same thing with uh, the dual coil setup. That's kind of your last resort. If nothing else, you know, if you've done all of that, like I said, everything that I've just showed you, and you're still having issues where it's not wicking good enough, do that. And to the guy, to the gentleman that asked me that question, remove a flavor wick out of your kanger. That's the trick there. If you're, you know, constantly having that problem, remove a flavor wick, try another one, whatever. If you've got a 50-50 juice, chances are you're going to take them all out. You're not going to have issues and it's just going to keep performing and the liquid's right there to replace it as you're vaping. So that is that. I do have another new Vivinova here, but I think I want to put a dual foil head in it. I mean, I might as well because I've got lots of them. And I don't, oh, I was going to put some buttered rum in there. It won't start. Well, what's the sound on the TV? It's the movie. It's not the chicken wings. Oh, you might just have to wait for the previews. Um. And uh, But I can do that later, you know. I don't have to do that right here. Plus, I'm not seeing... Yeah, I'm not... When uh, babies start, when we go babies... Okay, okay. Sounds good, babe. Plus, I'm not seeing, seeing another dual foil head right in front of me, so we, we'll do that later. And so those are the tricks there I wanted to show you. And lately, for me, that's just been the easiest way to vape uh, and be 100% satisfied with a high-quality vape. It's just using these good old, uh, these good old Vivian Ovas, man. Like I say, uh, change out that plastic tip, man. Put a metal one in there. Get rid of some of that plasticky uh, taste. I'm trying to judge with this one right now. It seems to be wicking. And of course, any new head, this is something else to keep in mind. There's a break-in period with any new head. I don't care what it is. It has to kind of go through a little break-in period, get seasoned. You know, there's probably a little bit of pr protective film on those coils hanging around that keeps it from rusting, I guess. I don't know. Crank that. Seven watts for me is about perfect. 
then I'm only talking about the Vivian Nova when I say that. Other tanks, you know, higher, lower, whatever. The Vivian Nova, I like 7 watts. And every time I take a vape, you know, hold it upside down a little bit, whatever. Or you can just do the old swirling thing, hold it sideways and just kind of spin it around. That works well, too. Now I flooded it. At that point, I'll turn that down. It's the other thing I like about a Vivianova is how easy it is to, to, to uh, <clears throat> fix a flooding issue. You just hold it down. Juice goes away from the coil. And we're already fixed. So that's that. Um, I think that's all I have to say about that. So why don't we get into some emails, perhaps? Guys, I am here for you. <coughs> I'm going to give you your hour-long video. I've had people complaining lately. that oh, it's not long enough. These 30-minute videos, they're just not long enough. And I'm like, really? Oh, I'm so flattered that you dig these long videos, man. My coffee is getting cold. I don't like that. So we're signing in to my Gmail. <coughs> you got to have a Gmail account if you're going to use... Um, oh, look at all these emails. All my new subscribers, thank you so much. Every day I've just got a ton of them, and you guys rock, and I hope that I am helpful to you. And uh, so let's see. I mean, the, the trick is I'm, I'm so unorganized, and I do a poor job sometimes with uh, getting these things answered, and then I'll answer them. And I've been busy lately again. I'm sorry I haven't been getting right back to you. But I've been busy and working and back, on, back to the old grindstone lately. Um, but I'll answer questions and then I'll forget to delete anything, you know, and, uh, well, then I'm like, oh, what have I already answered and what haven't I answered? Let's see if we can try to figure this out. Okay, here we are. Swisher. Steve and Ellis, thanks for all your information. You've helped me a lot. I enjoy and look forward to your post. He was wondering what the shelf life of e-juice might be. I think we've already talked about that. I remember that, so we'll go back. Do, 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 do. Subscribe. This guy, he cracked two of his eye clear 30s, man, in a week. Somebody else already helped him out. Somebody, I think somebody else answered the question for him. Or, or, uh, no, no, no. We're talking about the iClear plus the iClear 16 there, where I put iClear 30 heads in the iClear 16. <laughs> and my daughter is calling me right now, so that means I'm going to have no choice but to edit this video. So I'm going to stop recording for a second and be right back. And we're back. I got the movie playing for her. She's watching Alvin and the Chipmunks, which is actually a pretty good flick. The movie, you know. I don't know which one it is. There's like three of them. Got the coffee warmed up. And I checked my text messages and voicemail. I had a voicemail, missed a call. It's like, but it wasn't the railroad trying to call me for work, at least. But they did send me a text telling me I'm sucking out. And it's looking like I'll be going to work at midnight. Mm, isn't that always fun? Mm. Can't wait. If I get lucky, I'll go before then. So we'll just see how that rolls. So what else was I going to... Oh, yeah, that's right. We we're talking about emails. Okay, let's get back into that. Here we go. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Subscribe, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. What do we got here? This guy, Mr. Jeevan, says, My budget thanks the halt. My budget thanks the halt. I have no idea what that means, buddy, but hopefully that's a good thing. Um... Okay. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, there's a guy, big sick shooter. That twenty eight minutes went by really fast. Sigh. <laughs> Sorry, my brother. New activity here. Thanks again. Here's a guy I recently started vaping and found the beginner video. Thanks for helping me make sense of the vaping world. 
I'm subscribed to you now. I have a question for you. Would you recommend buying this kit? It's got an eBay link here. Let's take a gander. Oh, sweet already. Vamo V4 complete luxury kit. 510 thread fits. Ego CE4 CE5. Yeah, it looks like it comes with. Uh, looks like it's got a Vivian over there. Uh, it's got a charger. And what kind of batteries is it coming with? It's got blue batteries. Are they two shorts? You got a Vamo V4 body, and that's a fine Vamo. Uh, it's not going to have your OLED screen that you see here. It's not going to be quite as fancy, but it'll work just fine. It's still a great, great device. And for 49 euros. It's not a bad price at all, especially what it's common with. It comes with a Vivinova, comes with two 18350 batteries, plus a charger with a UK plug, instruction manual, retail box. Now, it looks to me, the charger that I'm seeing, you can, I'm think, well, it's hard to see that charger. I would think that, yeah, that should hopefully charge both of them at the same time. You might only be able to charge one at a time, but I think, unless you stack them both in there, that could be. And yeah, you'll just be stacking them. Hey, that's fine. You can do that with a Vamo. It's a protected mod. I think that would be a great kit. I mean, yeah, if you've just started and you go to that, Bull Mastiff 115. I love dogs. Love Mastiffs. Excellent kit. Go for it. For sure. Uh, Edward Narvaez. I've been vaping for three weeks and love your reviews. Others review thinking, uh, okay, you're just giving me comps. Right on. Thinking of the viewer, your reviews. Your reviews are thinking in the viewers. You know, you bet. Thank you very much for that. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Anything, anything, anything. I thought there was another one. Subscribe, subscribe, add it, subscribe, subscribe. Wow, here we go. Only the kinds of pot because Yeah, we get this guy. Look at what guy? He's shaking his butt. <laughs> okay, shaking his butt, right on. That's the yep, there's uh here's just another thing we were talking about the expiration of e-juice here. Um, he cannot seem to get all of the flavor out of his pro pro tank two when he cleans it. Do you have any tricks? Well, of course, remember to take it all apart and all that stuff. But the other thing is. If you've only got one tank, and this is from Stephen Ellis, if, you, if you're only using one tank um, and you're changing juices, because I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's what we're talking about here, um, it's tough to get all of the old flavor out of the head. The only thing you can do is keep rinsing it and, and do exactly what I did uh, with the Vivinova with that, where I took the base. You would literally, uh, here's your King of Pro Tank. Uh, you know, get it good and wet, rinsed out good. Take the top off. And then, let me get back to my camera. You would, at that point, only screw the little base of your Pro Tank down. Make contact, blow on the top, give it dry burns. And this is a brand new one, so I don't really want to do that. And then take it off, rinse it out again, get it wet again. Do, a, do another session of those dry burns. Then try to fill it with liquid, and that should get more of that liquid. The, li the flavor you're tasting is the remnants of the old juice in there. So try that trick. The other thing you can do is get a, plenty of heads to where you, you can actually switch out heads to each flavor you've got, mark them, do whatever you got. Of course, it's always nice to just have multiple tanks that are dedicated to one flavor. That's how I do it now, but I, you know, I'm a realist. I get it, and I remember when I first started getting into all of this, I couldn't go out and buy 10 tanks right away, you know, or, or however many juices you've got to how, uh, how many tanks you're going to need. So that just kind of happens over time. And uh, so that's obviously my full recommendation would be, you know, get multiple tanks for each juice you like. But if you can't really afford that yet, probably the easiest thing is going to have a separate new head for each flavor and dedicate that head so you'll change out the head after you clean out the tank. Um, and that would be my advice, Mr. Steven, on that. Um, subscribed, okay. 
What else? Clear up some equations. Forrest Gump impression. Yeah, I'm. I'm always doing Forrest Gump impressions. I like Forrest Gump. I, that's like one of my favorite movies ever. I just love it, and I could watch it and watch it and watch it. And that is all I am seeing on that uh, as far as questions answered. Okay, here's from Xavier Garcia. Uh, thanks for the great videos. Received a Pro Tank 3 from Vapor Alley. Right on. Love Vapor Alley. Easy assembly and cleaning. However, no matter what juice I use with any type of VG-PG ratio, it still produces only a moderate amount of vape. I need to seriously inhale to get anything or something out of it. I think it's a bad dual coil. Well, my experience with the ProTank 3, the vapor, as far as vapor production, was excellent. But he's saying he switched to a single coil, bam, works great, great flavor, thick vape. Um, I didn't like the, the, the ProTank 3. Um, however, somebody recently told me to try that trick where you just loosen the bottom and get some bubbles. But who wants to be constantly doing that? Um, there is also flavor wicks, if I remember right, on the Pro Tank 3 that you can, it's a little bit harder to do, but you can pop that head apart and take those flavor wicks out. I would recommend that, but you might have a bad dual coil head, because if it's not producing hardly any vapor, I've never had that experience with the Pro Tank 3, but I've definitely lacked the flavor. And even when I get it flooded, the flavor is still not as good as the Pro Tank 2 heads, the old standard, uh, you know, I've only got the top because I've got it apart, but then, you know, I just, I just, I think the Pro Tank 3 was a bad idea, man. It just didn't work out. Sucks just the way it goes. So I would recommend just hang out with that single coil because that's my experience. But if you want to try those other tricks, get a new head, take those flavor, flavor wicks out or one or, you know, like, uh, like we talked about earlier in this video, um, give that a go. And, um, and you, there is that trick, you know, you know. But I don't mind doing that trick. But to me, it's like, I don't want to have to do that between every vape either. Because that's not, yeah, it's just not going to fly. Um, and we may be, maybe, 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 that may be it, man. Let's see, what else? You can let's see rebuildable dripping arm and mix up your herb and okay yeah we had that question uh, from a guy OP Errant he's here to answer this he wanted to was there anything you can smoke herb herb herbs and that'll give you both uh, but he was asking for a mod well no there's no mod that anybody seems to know about but OP Errant says yes you can use an any old cheapo RDA rebuildable dripping atomizer mix up your herb into ISO oil, which is really easy to do. Just Google it. It's your friend. YouTube might also be your friend as well. Works like a charm. Feel free to get rid of this comment if you're uncomfortable with it. No, absolutely not. I'll leave it on there. I don't care. People have the right to do whatever they want to do, and I am not going to judge. Mr. Risen Sun, vendor, send juices and devices to this guy. He does great reviews. Thank you for that, Risen Sun. I think that's it on that. Okay, I don't. I'm just. I, you know, I'm really trying to look through here carefully because I don't want to. I don't want to leave anybody out. <laughs> and another guy. Speaking of the, uh, uh, I wish I could find it. Maybe it's in here. Nope. Let's just. I tell you what. Here, let's do it like this. Let's go to my YouTube channel, and I'll just read through the comments because there's something I wanted to address in the last video I did, the questions and answers video. Um, my video manager. Daddy, can you help me do um this? I will help you in just a moment. Let me finish the video because I'm almost done. Good morning, everybody. Here. All right. So, I'm waiting for my comments to load. Here's a guy with a Bamo Five stainless steel, and he loves it. No fingerprints or scratches. I'm going to say that right now about the Bamo Five. Oh, what do I want to vape here? How about that? Uh, well, no. Because I don't have a vape in front of me right now. Let's go back to some waffle. I love the waffle. Yeah, I do. And yeah, the Bam Bamo V5, stainless steel version. Anytime you're going to get a Bamo, go for the stainless steel if you can. Because it, it just stays, you know, yeah, no scratches, fingerprints. It's got a decent grip. It's wonderful. Um, 
Um, other than that, I don't see a big difference in anything else. Just want to say, great words to live by. Past is the past. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Woodland Hunters, good to hear from you. Uh, always great hearing from you. Love the videos, hanging out. Larry and Neil King. King of Pro Take 2, I've always had an enjoyable, this is Larry Wade, he's always had an enjoyable vape. The last couple of times I've bought replacement coils. That's the one. Yeah, man, I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, try, uh, try all the tricks that I've showed you. Unfortunately, like I've said before, <laughs> in other videos, there was a point that I stopped using the Vivino. The other thing you can try to do, let me finish reading this though. Lately his replacement coils have been leaking, burning, and flooding. You had the same quality issues? I I, I haven't because the last set I got was from a local vape shop at a town about an hour away. And we just finally got a vape shop, which is great. Um, I'm not going to quit quit doing my internet business, but still, it's kind of nice to be able to go and pick something up. I guess, Larry, the first advice I would give you is you can always try boiling the heads. It's amazing what that can do. Dry burn it a little bit, like I showed you in the video. Blow on it and do that whole bit. And then, um, if that doesn't work, remember to get your heads from a reputable outfit. Got Vapes, Vapor Alley, tend to be two that are always there for me, and, and they never steer me wrong. So I would try those things. For sure. You know, you might have just got a bad batch of heads. It might have just been a fluke. It might have been legit heads, but you just happened to get a batch that just wasn't up to par. Lord knows that's happened in the cardamizer bit business. It's happened with other things with the Kanger T3s. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, Bradley Comer, thanks for the video, Jeff. Keep in mind that, guys, if you want to vape other things than e-juice in your vaporizer, you need to live in the state that call, that sells the stuff, and they will not be sending the stuff through the mail. Yeah, make sure you're in a state that it's legal, and that's a very good point. Mike, check for an SVV vaporizer. Just a thought. Now, I don't know what the SVV is. It goes back to that gentleman that was wondering if he could had something that he could uh, vape herbs or herbs or whatever, herb as well. Now, Carlos... Suaves, I wish I could, I hope I'm Cuevas. I don't know if I got your name right. But uh, nice hearing from you, Carlos. Uh, another guy that I hear from a lot. Uh, they actually make a sort of a tank that looks like a clear miser tank that attaches to any 510 connection and you can vaporize herb and tobacco. So there you go. So that gentleman that ever that asked, and there apparently was a ghost in my house at 1014 on that last video. I did see that. Uh, Risen Sun and Carlos. I saw that as well. I want to chalk it off to dust, but I haven't blown it up on my big computer, my big screen here, and really studied that yet. But that was interesting to look. Anybody that's watching this, watch my last question and answers video at around 10 minutes and 14 seconds. You'll see like a white thing go, shoo, and it was nuts. It does look pretty dang supernatural, but anyway, yeah, there's that. Um, Jamie Penland, he bought the Bamboo V5. It's his first uh, vaping device. I've uh, been uh, using it a ton. He's smoke free for two weeks now. Congratulations, Jamie. Very, very good. That's awesome. Dolores, nice to hear from you again. He's still liking, she's loving her iClear 30s. Dolores, I just heard about the iClear 30S. A uh, guy showed it to me and he said it blows the iClear 30 away. And I'm definitely going to get one because i got to try this, right? Because I love the idea. I love everything about the iClear 30, but it just for me, it just didn't quite work out. But a lot of people like yourself, you love the iClear 30. So if you like that, hey, try that iClear 30S. Um, give it a go. I'm going to get it, and I'll make sure to do a review on it. Um, how do you like the iTaste SVD? I love the iTaste SVD for a nice, uh, for a nice, you know, mod something that's higher quality that you're going to pay a little bit more for. Something to have around the house. Just something. To, you know, it's nice to just have something really nice for a mod. I, I love it. I really do. Um, I'm going to get another one since it was stolen from me. And hopefully that whoever stole it from me quit smoking, though. Um, Smiley, LB, recently subscribed to Viz Vaping for almost two years now. Uh, honey, my daughter's messing with all my tanks. Uh, she smoked for 14 years. Uh, Smiley, I... Uh, Forgive me if you're a guy, girl, anyway. Some um, someone decided to order a battery. Only mistake, I realized that I went to a website that you 
didn't mention, I think the website is Virgin Vapor. Virgin Vapor is excellent. Uh, I, I buy a lot of juices from Virgin Vapor. Uh, every so often I will always at least buy a bottle of juice and, and they have fantastic juices. Um, I ordered an Ego V V3 battery and the Kanger Pro Tank 2. It cost me about 63 bucks. Hoping you could tell me if it's uh, knocked off or advanced if you have any seen them before. Ego V V3. Well, let's see what that is. Now I'm thinking from the from judging by the the um, the name of it, I'm guessing. I'm gonna scoot you back for a second, honey. I need to need the keyboard, okay? I'm gonna guess that it might not be variable uh, variable voltage and wattage. Oh, my computer just totally froze. What is going on? Okay, well we're back. Here we go. Ego VV3 battery. Let me Google that. Ego, your hair and my whiskers. Mega battery. There it is. I see it. I'm popping it up here on my screen. These large variable variable voltage batteries, they go up to six volts, can give you the kick you've been looking for. So they are variable voltage. And that is sweet. Um, they're pretty awesome looking, I gotta say. Um, these are manly batteries, 510 threaded, variable voltage, 3 to 6 volts, 0.1 increments. LD LCD screen shows voltage and remaining battery life, mini USB cable included. Please have to buy these, Daddy. Um, comes with a battery, a charging cable, and an instruction manual. If your battery gets stuck in a set voltage, push both buttons at once to reset it. Now, I've never seen these before. Wait a minute. Yes, I have seen these. Yeah, those are a good mod. Um, and, and you can put a beauty ring on it. So if you get that Kenger Pro Tank 2, you're going to see like a cone looking thing that you're maybe going to be like, well, what do I do with this? You screw that onto the outer threads of your ego, and that'll make it look better for you. Um, that's going to look really nice, I think. And uh, yeah, I think that's, you know, I don't know that if it's genuine, I don't know if it's a genuine uh, Joy, J O Y E product or not. But I've seen these before. Hey, it's var variable voltage. As long as it works, you know, even if it's not 100% accurate voltage, it should be fine for you. I think you're going to really enjoy that. That's a great start, I think. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if it's a knockoff. I, I can't tell you that for sure. But even if it is, you're going to dig that. I, I, that I promise you. Um, sorry for the lengthy comment. Never a problem. Rojo, 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 Bemo, Bemo. Thanks for taking the time to answer my question. You know you can find my question for like six or seven minutes. Yes. Uh, he's, this is the guy we're talking about. He wants maybe uh, to smoke herb. And I think we've answered that a little bit more. So there you go. And that is that. Our questions and answers is done. And I'll try to respond to these because it's probably going to be a while before this video gets up to YouTube because I had to split it apart because I had to take a break and so I'm going to have to, you know, get on the old editor and splice them together and all that good stuff. And that's okay. It's all good to me. We can certainly do that. And uh, by the time it gets uploaded, I mean, 28 minutes, 28, not 20. Yeah, we're looking at about a 50-minute video at this point. Mmm. Very, very good. Daddy, is this yours? That is mine. You are correct. So, on that note, that is it. I gotta go back to work tonight. I don't want to. Maybe I'll take a day off. I could. There's nothing stopping me. But then again, I don't know. We'll see what time Daddy, I get caught. I How about that? This. For me, Daddy, if, I'm, I this mm -hmm. if I'm gonna get called at, you know, midnight, that's a little bit more incentive to lay off. Let's just, I'll put it this way. I'm gonna see who I'm gonna be working with and what time. And I'll go from there because there's a lot of negative people out there on the railroad. I tell you what, I've had a lot of jobs, and uh, there's just a lot of negativity out there. And some of them, thankfully, most people are really great that I get to work with. But uh, there's some, there's some, it's surprising how much negativity out that there is out there. Sure, we have to work at nights, 
we're on call and stuff like that. But like tonight, if I don't want to go to work, I don't have to. I can lay off. It's no, it's no big deal. The other thing is, it's a great job. We make good money for what we do. It's easy, you know. But yet people just seem to only look for the negative and everything sometimes. And that can get old. And I don't like being around those people. I like to surround myself with people that are more positive, uplifting, outgoing. To me, that's that's what it's about, you know. That's where it's at for me. And that makes me feel so much better at all times. And uh, <coughs> so that's my word of advice today. If these people out there that are so negative would try as hard to look for the positive things that there are in every situation in life, almost every situation, um, as they do the negative, imagine what that could do. So if you ever suffer from depression, don't take a pill. Listen to your favorite music. Exercise. Um, you know, go for a walk and look for the positive things and instead of concentrating on the negative. I don't know, just a thought works for me because worrying will never change the outcome of any situation. That's another fun fact. Let's have a vape, everyone. It's been fun hanging out with you. I hope you found some of these tricks helpful, useful, or will find it helpful or useful. Um, just some new things that I've stumbled upon as the vaping world changes, as the tanks change, uh, quality control. I don't know what it is, but we have to deal with it as the consumers in this market. And uh, so we deal with it just like that, you know, by, okay, what can we do to correct the problem? And so I thought I would share that with you guys. And, uh, you know, my videos are always more for the beginners. So, uh, hey, that's what I know. Thanks for putting up with my Alexa. Say hi. Say hi, Alexa. <laughs> and uh, she's always, you know, always interrupting, aren't you? And you need a nose wipe. I can see it. Are you getting cold or what? You feel good? Yeah. And other than that, let's have a vape together, guys. Uh, everyone have a great day. I don't know if I'm going to work tonight. I probably am, but either way, while you guys are sleeping, I'll probably be out there working. And uh, that's all right. We'll be all right. I'll get through it. Throw me some coffee. It's all good. Let's have a vape, everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Loving that waffle. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to start splicing these videos together. I'm going to get this thing uploaded. It's going to take a while. Wait. Yeah, you know, just wait. It'll be up there. That's the, the toughest thing about making these videos, is I feel like it's in real time. I'm answering these questions. Meanwhile, people are people are sitting out there like he still hasn't answered my question, and I'm like, sometimes I'll leave the comment, "Hey, check out my latest video. I answer your question." They're probably getting on there because it takes this video like four hours to upload. It's not there. There's nothing there, you know. So just patience if you well. But then again, this isn't real time, so I'm gonna have to put in the comments, "Patience, I'm uploading the video." So there's that. Have a great day, everyone. Have a good night. Sleep well. And um, we will be back soon. We'll do the VAMO. And um, I'm going to get an iClear 30S tank. We'll do that later. And uh, that's all I got for you guys. So thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Yay!